Hello, in this lecture snippet I'd like to discuss the basics of internetworks. Now in the previous video I talked about local area networks and in this video I want to focus in on connecting those local area networks together so that we can form an internetwork itself. So let's go ahead and begin by taking a quick look at that local area network. If you remember multiple computers can be connected together and can share data back and forth between each other using a device as a switch and those ethernet cables to allow data to be sent from one computer to another computer and they communicated using an address called a MAC address and so that was what was significant about connecting or communicating on our local area network was that MAC address and that uniquely identified every computer on our local area network and the switch could read that information and send it to the appropriate computer. Well now on networks. When we talk about networks we have a separate address that we have to use. We don't use the MAC address to send data from one network to another. We use a different address that is logically assigned to the computers called an IP address. And so the IP address is going to be also assigned to each one of our computers and that does not come on our network card. That actually just gets assigned to our computers. And different IP addresses create different networks. In order for our computers to be able to communicate to a different network we have to use a different device that can read IP address information and that device is going to be called a router. And so all of our computers on our local area network would be connected to a switch. That switch is typically connected to a router which will allow our data to be sent to a different network and so we can then introduce a separate local area network or different networks altogether. Now in homes we typically have routers but we don't use them to separate different local area networks within our home itself. We usually use routers to be able to send data to a different network provided by the internet service provider which eventually sends us out to the internet itself. However in the workplace we may have hundreds of different computers within our building itself and as I mentioned before right around 100 is where we typically will start separating LANs and that's just because there's a lot of data that gets transferred back and forth between computers and we can lose some of the efficiency of our network by having too many computers on the same network. Although we could have really thousands of computers or even millions of computers on a network technically, we're going to eventually get to the point where too much data is being sent back and forth between computers to communicate and it's not optimal performance for us. And so if we have hundreds of computers within the same building, typically we'll use routers to separate those computers into different networks. And then each network will have its own range of IP addresses that are separate for that specific network itself. And those different networks will communicate through the router. Now routers are really a fundamental part of networking. They allow us to have all the networks for every different business or every different home and allow them to communicate together. So if we take a closer look at this cloud, basically we have routers that represent all different businesses and all different homes and we can communicate and have them connect together and have different networks all be joined together into one huge network. And yes, you've probably guessed it, that big network that's joined all together from all of the different routers and all the different networks that are connected together is called the internet. And so that is really what makes up the internet is a connection of all of our internetworks connected together. And that's really the fundamental knowledge of internetworks.